Welcome to day eight of the 30 day martial fitness challenge between me and Roger Grimes. If you haven't seen Roger's videos, you can find them on YouTube. His handle is at showdown 1197 or simply go to my playlist and you'll find them. Today I'm going to cover a little bit of a cane workout. Cane is one of my favorite weapons because it's very practical. Um, there are even laws saying that you're allowed to carry a cane anywhere through uh, the disability acts. So anyways, so we're going to start off with just a little bit of a warm-up first. I'm going to do just like we did the other day for the flat work to the outside of the wrist. Spin on the outside of the wrist. Let's do that 10 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Other side, same thing. 1, 2, 3, a little off. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so now let's move to the center of the stick. By moving to the center of the stick, we can do both the inside and the outside. I'm watching the top of my cane to know when I do the inside and when I do the outside. So that's inside the wrist, outside the wrist, and let's do that 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. If your cane's too long, it's hard because you'll hit your body. I like to, mine are usually a little bit too long for me because most of the people I teach are taller than I am. So if I use a weapon that's customized for me, it doesn't work for many of my students. Other side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so let's start with real simple. I uh, want to do mostly self spin techniques, one after another. Actually, before we do that, let's stretch out just a little bit. <clears throat> Grab the cane, lift it up over your head, and lean over to your left. You can use the cane in your hand to pull down on the cane a little bit to extend the stretch and then do the other side. For that, step out, cane straight out, bring it in front of you and all the way behind you. Let's do that three times. One, two, and three. Other side, same thing. One, I'm in sort of a small room here. Two, and three. Okay, so our first technique we're going to do, I'm going to do a soft hand block, stepping up at a 45 degree angle, and straight strike with the horn one, to the solar plexus. And that's it. So if we look at that on the wing shine diving, we're just pushing the hand out of the way, stepping to the side, and trying to knock the breath out of it. All right, we'll drop down to five times a piece. One, two, three, four, and five. Other side. One, Two, three, four, and five. Let's go ahead and go over where we should strike on the body. So I'm going to pull out uh, the wing chun dummy for that in just a second. So the first thing we want to know are our targets up top. So our targets on the head. First, we have that center point on the top of the head up here. Next, basically coming down 45 degree angles right above the ear on either side. So we can come down here or we can come down over here. After we cover those three points, the next points are going to be the side of the neck, either carotid artery. So straight or here. <clears throat> I want to hold this with both hands. I'm going to use uh, the straight side, not the curved side. 
I'm going to go over those strikes. So our first strike should be top center. Our second strike should be a 45. Third strike should be a 45. We should strike the side of the neck. Strike the side of the neck. And again, two. So that's one, two, three, four, five points. And again. And three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's sitting with using it as a single end stick. We can move to the middle and use it as a double end stick, kind of speed it up a little bit. So here, I'm going to step in, strike downward, strike with one side, then the other, going over those five points. All right. So one, strike down with the horn. Two, strike with the other side. Three, one again. Four, side of the neck. Five, side of the neck. One more time. And three. Okay. After those, of course, we have the throat itself, which just like we did before, will generally attack with the thrust. We already did the thrust at the beginning with the horn, so let's do three thrust here at the neck level. Uh, if you don't have a dummy, just do it in the air, use a tree, anything you can find. One, two, I'm only using the dummy for clarity, and three. Okay, so our next couple of targets are a little bit more difficult to understand. They're going to be your hip and underneath your arm. Um, some sticks come with ridges to take full advantage of that. So the way we're going to do that, step to the side and shove the stick downward, straight into the hip bone. Whenever you hit right on top of the hip and push down, you'll generally lower the opponent and it hurts like crazy if you ever get hit with it. Right after that, you can drag up. And of course, once you get hit in the arm, that'll drag up underneath and hit the arm. All right. So you got one, two, now you're underneath the arm. What we're going to do from there is go ahead and turn that stick over 180 degrees and strike back like a knife hand. I want to do that self-defense technique on both sides. So to look at that, one, you're hitting hip underneath the arm, carry the arm out the way, and hit back to the throat. All right, two. And three, hip, underneath the arm, carry the arm, strike the throat, or whatever you can get. Other side, same thing. One, strike the hip, underneath the arm. Here, because I'm on the hook and I can actually wrap the throat for a takedown. Two. And three. Okay, so that covers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten points so far, including the solar plexus that we did at the beginning. That's eleven points. These points also exist for on the back um, because while you're at the hit. You've basically got the kidney as well. The solar plexus, you can hit it from the back, knock the breath out from behind. <clears throat> back of the neck, you hit right behind the esophagus, it's the base of the skull. Again, first like crazy, maybe even do permanent damage. Be very careful when striking the neck. Um, okay, so moving on. This one was always a little confusing when it was taught to me because instead of continuing to work down, now we're going to work up from the bottom. And the reason is we're going to the inside of the legs and the outside of the legs. So if this is a leg, we'll say this is the inside, this is the outside. Our weak points are basically going to be our joints. Right there at the ankle, right where it hinges, hitting both ankles and both knees. But when they do the growing shot in cane, instead of going straight to the growing, they like to go between the legs up over to the side and then around and smash just that personal preference. So normally, 
the leg attacks will go ankle, ankle, knee, knee, bring it up, over. All right, let's do that three times. One, strike the ankle, strike the other ankle, strike the knee, strike the other knee, strike up, bring it over for a growing strike. Two, ankle, ankle, knee, knee, up, grow. And three. One, two, and three. Now again, this is where having a hook comes in handy. Just in case they haven't ended yet, we're going to go ahead and hook and pull. Let's do that three times. One, ankle, ankle, knee, knee, up, over, grab, yank. Again, two, ankle, ankle, knees, knees, up, growing, grab, yank. And three, ankle, ankle, knee, knee, up, over, grab, pull. Okay, let's do another uh, couple more easy self-defense techniques for the day, and we'll end off just with that. So our first technique that I want to do, just step up. Push the hand to the side, grab the throat and walk. Really simple technique. You're welcome home. They go to just grab a hold of you or whatever. Instead of letting them, you push them to the side and you've got a hold of them. Okay. Two. And three. Other side. One, two, and three. Most of the techniques are really simple, but pretty effective because getting hit with a stick always hurts. Okay, <clears throat> let's do another simple one. This one's known as the rat tat, it's very common. They do is they bring the stick from the sitting position up to hit the growing, and then use a flowering motion to circle around and hit the top of the head. So basically that wrist warm up we did at the beginning. Strike the growing, spin and hit. Just one, hit, growing, head. Two. And three. Other side. One. Two. And three. Now it's flexible with that wrist. I need to work on the wrist control. <clears throat> okay, those are a few simple self-defense techniques. Hopefully you've enjoyed those. Uh, we'll be doing this technique or this series all throughout January and a little bit into February, I think. So let us know if there's anything you'd like us to cover, anything you'd like us to see. Um, it's between me and Roger Grimes again. He's all over my channel all, um, in my playlist so it'll be easy to find. Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.